All right, fellas. It's like 4.48 in the morning. But I can't sleep. I want to try this thing out. We've got to do an experiment to see how the 2D nozzle works on propane. Now, we've seen how convergent, divergent nozzles don't work in subsonic conditions. Let me show you what happens. All right, so this is not a good example. I guess it's okay. See how we're getting a predominant spray out this one side and we're actually getting fluid traveling back into the nozzle here. This is what's happening to us. This is why we got that spray shooting out one side and then when we agitate it, we can get it to flop over to the other side in an instant. Look at those eddies traveling back up in to the flow. So this is a subsonic condition. And that's where we're at. You see, it's not even making shock diamonds there. So that's pretty much what's happening inside of there. So I'm worried the propane is going to do the same thing. Unless we get combustion happening inside of here, and I think we can. Okay, here's one more look at a, a subsonic simulation. So we certainly don't want that to happen to us. So we've seen where entrained fluid stopped that from happening. We got a very uh, normalized spray pattern coming out the front there. I'm worried propane won't be able to do that. And we're going to get some kind of weird, crazy looking flame out the front of this thing. All right. So we got to do this test. We got to know how it acts on propane gas. I'm not too confident it's gonna work well based on some of the spray testing we've done. Based on the testing we've done, we're gonna see a flame shooting out the side of the burner right here, a predominant flame. Let's hope that doesn't happen. The propane gas, because it has a different density than the air, might cause some type of diffusion. Let's hope that happens. That is kinda of cool. <laughs> All right, now for the excitement. The propane's spraying out normal, but we're not at velocities yet, so. Okay, this ain't good. I don't like what I'm seeing at all. This may be a no-go, guys. Yeah, it doesn't like that much. I don't think this is gonna be a good propane nozzle, so. It's just not mixing very well. All right, so just as we predicted, we got a predominant flame on this side of the burner. And uh, in the first video of this nozzle, we observed how I could just make that spray pattern change. At first, the funny story about that, guys, is the first time I built this nozzle, 
I put it together, I fired it up, and that crazy phenomenon started happening where I'm getting a predominant directional spray out of a nozzle that it should come out like a rocket, you would think, right? No, it's not how convergent divergent nozzles work. If you are subsonic, a convergent divergent nozzle will ruin your idea. It just don't work, the math and everything. So I thought it was broke because I had misaligned this when I welded it together. I thought two millimeters off was killing me or something and causing, because sometimes a uh, misalignment of a very minute value like that can have a long range effect that is um, hyperbolic, you know? And so I cut this thing off of here and realigned it and welded it back on and the same damn thing happened again. And it caused me to really dig down into some research and uh, lo and behold, there's some videos showing subsonic flow and a convergent divergent nozzle configuration. And it's just not compatible with that. And a lot of people misuse that nozzle. As a result, I'm one included. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to look at the same nozzle on liquid fuel tomorrow. I can't do it right now. I'm just going to post this and show this guys to you guys because uh, this is an extremely interesting project. We are nowhere near done with this. This is going to be like a whole series, I think.